in one word, one word only, no. how did a small town boy from Austria become one of the most famous people on earth? Arnold was going to be something very successful in his life. He's really? so charming and he's so smart. You just knew it. You just knew he ha he had a very clear sense of, of of how to apply himself. Really, a most unique human being. He came from a very very humble origin. He has again emerged as one of the leading celebrity figures in the world. He did it by dint of his own uh, personal effort. I think he takes it very seriously and um, he works hard at it. But Arnold works hard at almost everything that he does and I think whatever he you know, set his mind to, I think he could be successful in. I think that you have to overcome obstacles every day. I mean, the day begins by just getting rid of obstacles. That's what it's all about in life. It was not easy for me to come to this country to start all over. It was not easy for me to go from, from the fitness and from the bodybuilding into acting. And it, it, it's, it, things are not easy, but the, the upside is always so great when you make it. But you have to work on it. It doesn't happen overnight. The word said, you have a long name and a difficult name to pronounce. I should change my name. Then they said I had a strange accent, I should change that. And you cannot have any kind of an outside negative force coming in and affect you. Okay, let's say before a contest, if I get emotionally involved with a girl, that can have a negative effect on my mind and therefore destroy my workout. So therefore I have to cut my emotions off and be kind of cold in a way. Growing up, you had no plumbing. I, I don't think you had a toilet, no shower. You had the heat only from the, the stove. What do you think not having much growing up taught you? Growing up like the way I did, poor, and with none of those luxuries, all of those things, uh, you know, made you much more hungry for success. So when you grow up like that, you don't shy away from anything. I mean, working to me was kind of like never, oh my God, I have to work. I loved working. If it was in bodybuilding or making an endorsement here or an investment in an apartment building or starting a mail order business or getting into movies or doing this or doing that, it's like, wow, this is really amazing. But it took a lot of hard work, but I never shied away from work. And I think that my hunger and my desire and my fire in the belly and that nothing could stop me, I think that comes from growing up the way I did. It doesn't matter who it is. The most successful person in the world can tell you honestly that they also had a tremendous amount of failures. It's not always just success. The key thing is, is that we learn from the failures actually more than from our successes. It doesn't matter if you talk about the best basketball player. I remember Michael Jordan one time said in an interview that he missed 9,000 shots. Here he was one of the, great, the greatest, if not the greatest basketball player in the world. So yes, you miss. Everyone has failures. So the key thing is, is that you learn from those failures and you move on. I had my failures in bodybuilding. I lost bodybuilding competitions. Most people only know my victories, which were a lot, but I've also lost. I lost in weightlifting. I lost in powerlifting. I embarrassed myself many times trying to lift the 500 pounds on the bench press in front of 2,000 people in a beer hall in Germany. And I failed and it crashed on my chest and I couldn't make it. But eventually I did make it. I lost, you know, I had failures in the movie business. I remember I had a lot of movies that went through the roof, but then there were movies that went right in the toilet that were not as successful. Books that I came out with that were on the New York Times bestseller list and then others that didn't, you know, live up to the expectations and, and, and failed. I have failures also, I remember, in my personal life. And I learned from that, you know, and then you move on again. What is important is that you get up. When you fall, the winner always gets up and the loser stays down. That's what's the difference. So to me, the important thing is always 
that when you when you when you fail on something, get up, you dust yourself off, and you move on, and have again a great vision of which direction you want to go. Pick another goal and keep moving forward. You have to have tunnel vision, and you got to have blinders on, and not to see anything that is on the left and on the right side, and just really focus. And what they call in golf and in tennis and all these ball sports, keep your eye on the ball. And when you do that, when you focus that much on on something, then of course you uh, are not being able to enjoy all of the things uh, that life has to offer because you're so focused on this one thing. You have to focus on the thing that you really want to be the best at, and that's what I did. And uh, you know, I don't regret that at all because you cannot be good in everything, and you cannot do everything, and at the same time be a champion in one thing. There is no such thing. So. I decided I wanted to be a champion. I decided that I wanted to go all out. Giving back and recognizing that every one of us uh, needs help. I got plenty of help to be where I am today. There's no such thing as a self-made man, as I always say. You know, there's people that help me to be where I am today. So it is up to me now to inspire other people to help them and to go and reach out and to help. And I just love giving back where you don't think about what is in it for me, but you know, how can I help? Part of being successful is to give also something back. The more you create resistance to the person, the stronger that person gets, and the stronger your character gets, and the more you can endure. He caught, but you know, Arnold has done. You know what I mean. Okay. <laughs>